Okay, this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. I'm going to show you how to do a rewire where you can have the best of both worlds using Reason and Logic Pro. First step you need to do is make sure that you have rewire enabled. So all you have to do is just open up Logic right here or wherever you have Logic at, usually in your Applications folder, and then you just click on the menu and you go to preferences and to audio and then in audio you will see a thing that says down here rewire behavior click the second one down playback mode less CPU load now if for some reason you feel the need that you need more CPU usage and you plan on triggering instrument plugins like in a live setting where you have MIDI instruments external and you want to trigger things within Logic 2 Reason that is rewired, then you would check this one. But we're not doing that. We're just doing a simple production, so that's why we check the middle one, playback mode. I hope that makes sense. The only time you need the live mode is if you have external MIDI instruments that you need to trigger within Logic to trigger stuff that is in reason or whatever it is that you have rewired to it could be something else like Ableton or something check that and you hit apply changes and that's it and then we will have to shut down logic just completely quit I'm gonna open it back up there it is it's now open I can go ahead and do a new project. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the default right now. I have the ESP set, but I could say no instrument for right now. Okay, and then let's go ahead and open up Reason. Connecting to Reason. Reason is now open. I just opened up Reason. Now, since Reason has VSD support, you're going to run into some issues now with rewire mode because the fact that Logic is your master and Reason is basically is the slave. And if you put in something that has a VST instrument, like I know these Nucleus Sound Lab patches, combinator patches, have silent in them. For example, if I put in this guy, it has a silent and it's a combinator, it's going to give me an error. Watch. VST disabled in rewire mode. Yes, we're in rewire mode. And so you can't do that. We have to just go ahead and just delete it. And we're going to only have to use patches that are native to Reason. So I have a nice little synth here called Afterglow. I'll put that in there. Made in an NN19. It's modeled after an old Elisis Quadra synth. Put that in there and then if we turn around on the back see that it's connected. Main input is connected in channel 1. Let's go ahead and just move this over out of the way and then let's go ahead and create an instrument called an external MIDI. That's all we have to do is just say external MIDI. You don't have to worry about anything here. Preferably just leave this off and then go up here where this little file box icon is. Just click on that and look here. You have this reason that pops up and there is my afterglow right there. Ta-da! Go ahead and just pick that. Now if I play it Nothing's going to happen. Yeah, you can see the MIDI signal going up there. There's no sound. Well, we got to go in here and hit the X keys. Get back out of here and just go in. We've got to create ourselves a nice little audio channel. We can do options, create new, aux channel. And in there, make sure you have the volume up at a decent level. And then your input, 
We'll go down here. It says reason. You, can, you got all these channels to choose from, and it's plugged into the main, the main channel, left and right. And then if we turn it up, then we we'll go up here and we can play it. We might be able to hear something. Yay, we got something. That's why I love that pad. It's just it's the best pad I've ever found. And it's some sampled Elisis refill kit. Just love it. So that's how you do it. Now, if you want to get a little crazy and get a little creative and say like, hey, I got like, you know, three different things that I want to put in here and control. Then we'll just go back over here. Move this guy out. What I like to do is I like to do this. I don't even like to use the the mix bus thing. I think it just gets in the way. So what I'll do is I'll do something like this. Let's go ahead and just delete that. And I'll show you how I like to do it. Alright, so what we do is just hold down the shift key and drop it in. So it doesn't make any connections when you hold down the shift key. Then we hit the tab. You can do more audio. So that's where you get your 64 channels from there. Like, we don't even need the mastering section, to tell you the truth. That's just something you would do in Reason, but we don't really need it. So all we do is just go into right here. You can even take out this because we're not even going to do any sampling. You can just take that off, disconnect that. The only thing you need right now is just put it in 1-2. And then that, that'll be channel one and two. And then when we go over here, it'll say left and right mix, but it's the channel one and two. And if we play it, you'll still hear it. See, it's there. So that's cool. Now, how we can get creative is then we can put in another thing. Say like we want to use like 70 strings. That's kind of nice. So then just hit, hold down the shift key. Drop it in. It's kind of cool. Now, matter of fact, let's just do, yeah, Earth Fox. That's, that's good. So hold down the shift. And put that on three and four. All right. And then what do you got? Swell pad. Number two. Hold down shift. And just drop and drag in there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got four different sampled synth pads. Alright, so we can just put that over my second monitor that you guys can't see. And then just go ahead and we just click the plus mark here do external MIDI and do three more to create and then from here just go back over here to this little file cabinet icon click reason for the first one and we're using 70 strings and then go to this next one go back to reason we're using earth fox and this next one and it automatically just highlights over the next one and swell pad so now they all named and you're in your track so then let's go ahead and put that and then we'll create a couple more ox tracks do control n Got to click in there. Control N two 
three, four. So then this one right here, just click where it says the left, right, the input. Right here it says input. We just go in here, it says reason, do three and four. And then the next one, reason, five and six. And the next one, reason, seven and eight. All right, cool. And then let's go ahead and just turn our volume up a little bit. Because but by default, you'll have the volume fader all the way down. And then if we click on this one, we should hear something that is 70 strings like. Okay, and then if we click on this one, we should hear Earth Fox. And if we click on this one, we should hear Swell Pad. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. It's nice. All right. So then say like, hey, all right, we got all our, our patches up and ready to go. Like, all right, how to record it. It's real easy. Is we want to record enable everything. I can delete this one. Don't need it. Click the R button for all of them. You don't even have to hold anything down or anything. No special trick. All right, so now all R's are record enabled and they're red. So now, and then you're going to say, all right, well, how do we get audio in there? How do we record the audio? Because it's only going to record the MIDI. All right, well, that's true. But me, I'm a MIDI guy, so I don't really care about the audio. Um, but we could do that. So how we would do that is go down here and we just highlight them all and then where it says read and we just hit the little power button there we go puts them up in here remember after glow so which one is which I don't know all right so aux one I don't know why I put it reverse it's weird so aux one is after glow audio so I could just put audio after glow and hit the tab button and I remember two is 70 strings audio 70 strings no, strubs <laughs> that's weird alright and then hit the tab button and then it was earth fox audio earth fox and the fourth one was Swell pad, audio, swell pad. Okay, and then check this out. So if I move this, it moves my fader there. So that's kind of cool. And then we could put 70 strings like up, like right there. We could put the earth fox like that. Something like that. So that way we know that each one goes with something like that. And then if we do the record enable, we can record our MIDI. And to record all of them, say like if you wanted to do all of them at the same time, you just make sure that you have all the R's checked. And then just hit your record enable key. And then, so what it does, it creates these weird kind of alias MIDI files. And then you have like a master MIDI file. And then what you could do is then you can export this in to something else. You could just duplicate the MIDI. But if we go back and we play it, all files will play. Which is kind of cool. I think that's kind of neat. I'm not sure why Logic does it this way, but I think it has something to do with Reason's inability to not record enable multiple tracks at the same time. So this is Logic's way of kind of making up for it. And saying, 
Hey, Reason, you have a handicap. I'll help you out. So I'm not really sure why it does this. You know, you got like these ghost kind of track things in here. But that's just the way it does it. Which is interesting. So that's how you multi-tracking in Reason Rewire. Hey, if uh, this video helps you out, please give me a like. Please subscribe. And remember, my friends, stay groovy. I hope this helps someone out there. Please subscribe. Give me a like. More of this networking kind of stuff with music. And if you have any questions, concerns, drop me a comment. I usually respond back within the hour or so. Remember, my friends, be groovy.